Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Thurns Hallman and Scott Selections here for Wednesday, June 7th. For again, today's play of the day. Quick recap what happened yesterday. We had a nice winner in baseball with the Dodgers' first five. Team total over two and a half runs and minus 140 on DraftKings. Never in doubt, we faded Luke Weaver, and it paid off as the Dodgers scored three runs in the first inning. So never in doubt, look for the winner here on Wednesday. And for today's play of the day, coincidentally going to go back to the same exact matchup between the Dodgers and the Reds. But we do have a different play for this one. Going to go to the Reds. Team total over four and a half runs and minus 120 on DraftKings. Time recording of 1.30 a.m. Eastern time. Cover reasons why we're going to take the Reds team total over in this matchup. First reason, the Reds have been pretty good offensively lately as the Reds have scored at least five runs in seven of their last 11 games, including nine runs in yesterday's win. Plus, the Reds did get some reinforcements offensively yesterday as they called up top prospect Ellie De La Cruz, and he was good yesterday as he had a double and two walks. So he reached base three times, and he does have a ton of speed on the base paths. I do think that he can be a huge difference maker for this team, and that definitely is a nice boost for the Reds' offense to have. Plus, the Dodgers this season have been brutal pitching on the road as Dodgers are allowing 5.77 runs per road game, which is the second most in the league. And it might not get better on Wednesday because Syndergaard is on the mound. And even though he's been bad everywhere this season, he's been especially bad on the road. So far this season in opposing ballparks, 20 innings pitched, 30 hits allowed, 9.9 ERA. And we know that Syndergaard, in addition to being underwhelming the season, has been really bad for the last couple of years at preventing stolen bases. And I do think the Reds will capitalize on that because the Reds are very aggressive when it comes to stealing bases. The Reds rank third in the league in stolen bases per game. So you might see a couple of walks or singles turn into doubles because Syndergaard can't hold any runners on. And as a result, you might get some extra at-bats with guys in scoring position, which could result in more runs. Plus, the wind should definitely be benefiting the over in this game, as the wind is blowing out to right field at roughly 8 miles per hour. And the weather should result in roughly an 11% increase in runs and a 20% increase in home runs. But even if Syndergaard does pitch well, which is a bit unlikely, but let's just say it happens, it's not the end of the world because the Dodgers' bullpen has been brutal as well this season, as the Dodgers have a 477 bullpen ERA, which is the fifth highest in the league. But simply put, a Cincinnati offense, which scored nine runs yesterday and now called up its top prospect, gets to face off against Noah Syndergaard. The total in this game is roughly 11, and yet the team total for the Reds is only four and a half fading Syndergaard. That seems way too low on principle, and I think because of that, I think the Reds should be able to get the Syndergaard and the bullpen as well in route to potentially a win. But I do think the play it's safe, I will take the team total assuming that the offense does this job. So play that once again here for Wednesday, June 7th. is going to be on the Reds team total over four and a half runs at minus 120 on DraftKings. Bye, everyone.